Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down here at 3D Golf Performance, and we're just talking about how to move the shaft and alignment that will stay on plane. A lot of golfers fight the bent shaft and then the over-the-top move, and we want to correct that forever because it's one of the biggest problems that you're going to see in golf, creating a lot of different uh, impact conditions and results in poor slices or weak shots, um, pulls to the left quite often, just many different um, face and club path alignments that are not desirable. So we really talked about the setup alignments in video one with the alignment of the shaft and the hinge pin and then, the sh and then from there the shaft connected to the body. We then talked about step uh, one to two trying to create a very nice step in with the right hip pull back and managing to keep the club head outside of your hands, outside as opposed to inside of your hands. In this case, we would exaggerate a little bit by having the hands opposite almost your right thigh and create a little bit of a bent shaft this way as opposed to anything that would work this way. From here, we're now talking today about moving from two to three, so position uh, two to three. So one to two, we're setting up the lower body as, as a real stable pivot point for our upper body to cock the shoulders now using the hands and arms in particular pressure point number two that is the right palm or the right heel pad pushing against the thumb of your left hand pushing it up and down will simply cock my shoulders I've got my lower body in a position where it's braced from a face-on view, it simply looks like this. One to two. So I've got a bit of heel pad pressure to start my club up in the air. And then basically I set my pivot up. You notice my knee and hip action never works in or collapses to the right. The right hip goes behind me, my left knee comes forward. So I remain in a very stable and balanced position. Feels like I'm really squishing my feet into the ground. So one to two, we've got that covered off. My heel pad and my left hand's pushing down. My right one now is gonna take over, it's the master, and it's simply gonna cock my shoulders as it lifts the arms and the club into position. So really good, strong positioning there at the top. Really feel the load in my midsection, my hips, my hams, my upper leg muscles are really firing and engaged. And at this point in time, the balance becomes affected in such a way that I am tilted currently to the right with my spine. And as I start to root the club up, the verticalness straightens my spine out to a point where it starts to center balance me a little bit from the right side back to the center. And when it starts to do that, it triggers my tailbone to start moving towards the target. So that's my start down move, and it's in the transition period that that happens. So one to two, and then two to three is the pushing of the heel or the palm of your right hand to cock your shoulders. It straightens out your spine a little bit to center balance you and you start to feel the weight go to your left side and that's when the tailbone takes off and starts to create another angle called the axis tilt in your start down. Beautiful, powerful move that carries the angles forward and maintains the gap between your hips and your upper body. So you create that torque to unwind later in your swing. We'll talk about that next time. I'm going to hit a shot with this drill once again because I want to keep showing you how you're going to use it. So once you get set up with your alignments, really strong position. Again, it's one to two. You have that club head in front of your hands like this, hands in well, probably up outside your right thigh. Use your hands and the pressure points. 
incredible feeling, especially if you're a player that's been struggling with the shaft getting thrown out or in behind you too much in the backswing where you obviously have to then out of necessity bring it out and come over the top and across it. You're going to start to feel some really strong impact conditions, some great groundwork with your feet, an incredible stable lower body with a quiet upper body. So give that drill a try. Again, you're now at two to three in terms of the steps, and we'll get the next one to you as soon as possible. Enjoy the hit.